Hello friends, welcome back to the channel again, Code With Me. So friends, in this session of HTML, we will be discussing about another interesting and important topic of HTML that is anchor tags. See friends, there is no website in the world without making use of anchor tags. So anchor tags will be present in every of the website as well as web pages. So friends, in this video, we'll be discussing about what is anchor tags, how do we make use of anchor tags and every in-depth details. So, so friends, I request you to kindly please be thorough on this topic of anchor tags. So if you, if you watch this video right till the end, so I'm, I'm going to assure you that you'll be good enough working with anchor tags. So friends, starting with the definition, what is this anchor tag? Anchor tag is nothing but it's another tag that is used in HTML where clicking on a particular content or a link, it will direct you to the another page. Okay. Assume friends that uh, assume that you have visited a website okay you can see a lot of buttons and all as soon as you click a button or a link it will another pop another page will display so that process is called as tags okay so by clicking on a particular content or a button or anything else it, if it directs you to the another page that can be done using anchor tags so i assume that you guys have got the clarity about the anchor tags so in anchor tags we make use of a the tag a which you guys can see here anchor tags so with the help of another attribute called as href we can hyperlink to the another page okay so if you still didn't get the exact clarity regarding the anchor tags so do one thing friends i'll be directly starting with the coding part so you'll be having the better picture clarity of exactly how anchor tags works with html okay so friend if you want to note down the theory part that i have written here request you to kindly please pause the video and note down all the theory parts okay so for instance i'll be taking this out okay so as usually starting with the index okay. html and followed by html tag Closing of this table. Okay, and I'm sorry. And followed by title tag. And closing of the title tag. Okay, so inside this title tag, I'll just I'll be giving the name of the video. Here comes the main part. Body tags. Okay, and uh, the closing of the body tags. Okay. So inside this body tag, friends, I'll be, I'll be starting with anchor tag. Okay, now I'll do here what uh, now what I'll do, friends. Create a paragraph. Okay. E. Okay. And followed by closing of it. Inside the C here. Here. I mean, here to go to the google.com for instance. Okay, button here, click here to go to the google.com. Okay, for instance, I'll just do a drug events. Uh, click the the google button google button to visit google website okay 
to insert this after that i'll give you a break okay here i'll be making use of anchor tag anchor i'm sorry anchor hyper reference as i said before followed by https www dot google dot com okay google dot com slash this and followed by target target followed by plan so okay so now what i will do friend i'll just end this it as google and I'll close the anchor tag. Okay, so friends, you can clearly see here uh, inside of the body I have created a folder. Click the Google button to visit the Google website. So inside this hyper reference, I've created as https google.com. Okay, so when I run the program, you can clearly see here click the Google button to visit the Google. Okay, so when I click the Google button here, friends, you can clearly see here it is directed to the Google page. Okay, this is how anchor tags works. Okay, so for instance, I'll be showing you another tab. Okay, now what I will do inside of this Google, I'll add it as uh, can be you can add anything, friends, uh, like website. Okay, run the program. You can see, you see here Google has changed to website. When you click on the website, it will direct you to the google.com page. Okay, this is how, so this is how exactly the anchor text works. Okay, friends, now you have clearly understood how do you link the websites with the anchor text. Now let us learn how do you link the emails, how do you link the phone numbers. So that is another attribute that you guys have to learn when you are working with anchor text. Okay, for instance, I'll be making use of break here. Okay, and create another hyperlink. Okay, hyper reference inside that mail to uh, let me give it m dot okay, some less blush example and rate example dot com. Okay, so inside this, what I will do, forget. Target. Blank. You guys might be wondering what is this blank? See, friends, when I click a particular this button, it directs you to the uh, Google page. Just in case if there's any fault in internet connection, so it will display a blank page. So that is the reason we have written this as target as blank here. So, okay. So I'll be trying to press email. Close this anchor. Now let us execute. Now let us when I run the program, let us see what happened. So as soon as I enter the button, you can clearly see here. After the website, you can clearly see, clearly see here another button called as email. So when I click this button, okay, you can see the number of options. I mean the number of way you can Google. You can via mail this way, mail mail via Firefox, mail via Microsoft Edge. You'll be having multiple options to via where to mail to okay so i'll be explaining you guys about time you okay, see here okay. hyper references mail to uh, m dot plus example dot com this can be anything you can you can give your personal mail id also so as soon as i click this email button you clearly see here you'll be having a lot of option that from what internet source or what internet tool that you wish to mail to, you'll be having this particular option. So this is how you link a mail to through anchor tags. Now let's type the phone number. Let's see what happened. Okay, cut here, hyper reference, and followed by a phone number. Okay, telephone. I'm sorry like zero one two three four five six seven eight nine 
okay i'll just give this number for instance okay and i'll be making as phone call okay and i'll close the anchor tag okay now when i uh, now when i had to run the program let us see what happens you can see you can clearly see here friends you can see another button called as phone call as entered so when i click a particular this button you can see here pick up an app to send a number from here through android phone send it to the google pro on both devices you can see a pop up message will display of on what application you wish to make a phone call so this will display inside your phone call so friends the session regarding the anchor tags ends here if you have any doubts regarding the anchor tags request you to kindly please pin down your doubts in the comment section and i'll definitely reply and if you like this video make sure you like share subscribe thanks you for watching this video have a nice day